Hello everybody, I am Brandman19, we're playing some more Supreme Ruler 2020, the 4th Reich. Hans Gruber II has taken over much of the Balkans, most of Europe, except for Luxembourg and Switzerland, and UK and Ireland, yeah, we'll leave them out. Valerius is out there in the east, and we are pushing hard on Russia right now. Um, unfortunately, we do not have that nice huge group that we were working with that uh, destroyed Romania and Bulgaria. I mean, literally, when I say destroy, they destroyed it. They uh, got eaten up taking Tula and Shikino, but that's okay. They're, it looks like they're building back up again. And I'm not going to... I'm kind of undecided what I'm going to do with them. Like, I could take them and bring them right over here, which I might go ahead and do. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's, uh... Sorry, you're not needed. We can do this part without you. Let's, uh, bring some men in. There we go. Now, I got an idea. I'm going to kind of hold this spot down with as many units as I can. And, uh, let the guys underneath get repaired. Let's see. How many of you guys are down there? 44 infantry. Most of them are almost fit to fight again. Uh, 59 tanks who are really not fit to fight again. We're going to kind of hold out for them. Anti-tank, there's two of them. They're ready to go. So we're going to hold out because that's a huge group of guys. And then what I'm going to do is, instead of going up this road and then we're having to worry about the bridge that's being rebuilt and stuff like that, I'm going to go this way around. There's no bridge. Uh, it's just come in and then destroy all these spots I pretty much I'm pretty sure I can get m at least these um, if I'm lucky I can get this one as well and get these this little line and maybe I'll get Moscow I highly doubt that though I'm kinda more focused on getting the military fabrication spots maybe building like a little bridgehead like beachhead I guess the best way to call it a defensive line also building a defensive line through here they have a lot of BMP 2's uh, AA, artillery, lots of cool stuff they have just sitting in there. Of course, I could also do it for this area over here and take Pavlovo, uh, take Sabransk, uh, push over here and take, uh, what is this place out here called? Ulyanovox? That's a weird name. Take that spot too, though. What is this town? Kazan. Kazan should have like a good military factory behind it. Go after this spot over here. Tatishkovo. Taking some of these places too would be good for us just because it would build up units to push further. That's just kind of a toss up. And you know, honestly, I'm, I am kind of liking the thought of going for this place over here and going for this one. So we might end up trying that move. Let's take a look at our infantry. The Pumas are coming along. There's a, quite a few Pumas that are hurt. There's camels that are pretty much ready to go, though. And then... Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, lots of... Looks like all the IFVs are good to go. No, the anti-tanks are. The regular tanks are about half, half health. They'll probably take about another two weeks in-game to fix. But they'll be ready to go. Sorry, USA, we are not taking your crap. I do not want it. Okay. These guys are just kind of, blah, handling it. I wish this guy would create uh, some AA units. What's his production right now? Storm Hunters. Well, that's, okay. that's good too, but it's not quite what I want. Uh, let's build these missiles. Oh, we got all those. No more aircraft. Only the artillery. And we're down to 42 of 29. They're, they're going to start picking out their own stuff to build. But better yet. It's okay. We're going to piss off the world a little bit. But we're going to build nuclear warheads. Or we're going to start trying to build them. Okay. What can you do with your satellite coverage? 10, 10. Oh, we can build these. Missile defense satellites. We need 20 of them. It's 10 for communications, 10 for reconnaissance, and 20 for missile defense. That's the uh, best way to go about it. Ooh, that's a 200% increase over that from Nepal. We'll take it. 
Okay. Here's my thought. Instead of going this way, which it's so close, I know we're so close to Moscow and we want it so bad, I think what I might do instead is come across this road here and deal with all the Russian fighters that are in the way. But uh, take it, move on to this one. Take it, move on to this one. Take it, then get Tetashevko. And then we'll work our way up this road, come back this one, then come here to Saransk, then across. That'll take out two of them. Uh, I could come down here and get the third one at Volgograd, but uh, we'll wait on that one. Okay, I think we're just about ready though. Let's take a look at these guys again. Let's see how hurt they are. Their tanks are at 75%-ish for the most part. I don't see anybody in red yet. There's a few of them that are ready to go. Let's make sure. We'll give them another two minutes or so to get done. If they don't, then we'll go without them. Tanks are not going to be super important because I don't until later on when we're actually pushing on these huge spots. So, what I really want is some AA units to go with us. They could follow in the rear. They do a great job. There's some tanks down there already, though. Okay, ready? Entrench. Entrench. Keep grabbing them and keep entrenching. Entrench. Entrench. We'll go ahead and get these guys off of it so they can be deploying them. Okay, we got quite a few. I've got 69 units. How many more are there underneath? Let's see. 56 tanks. That's all there is. That's alright. You know what? We're going to go ahead and let this happen. I could wait and wait and wait all day long, but... It's better to go early. Okay, we'll let those tanks when they come out deal with that kind of stuff though. Okay, come on up. Oh, you're gonna go up. And then go down. That's an odd way to go. Okay, get here. Alright, they're all getting in this position. Alright, here we go. Got to make sure we build up our supply lines as we get there. That's so scary doing this. All right, here we go. We've nearly got it. Entrench. Stay in the spot for just a second. Let them let it build up again. There we go. We're gonna build here. They're going to try to move in on us, so we need to hope this supply catches. There we go. Two of them down. Okay, that's alright. Come on back in. There we go. Pushed him back. Alright, push them back again. Destroy this village. They're coming in behind us. That's a problem. We're going to run out. If we don't take it. Okay. Get in here and entrench. Let these guys catch up and help you out. These guys are pushing really hard, which is really nice, actually. Look at all these tanks coming in to help. We need reinforcements. Okay, come back in. There we go. Rebuilding our lines again. Okay. France has been eliminated. Did we get the land? Or who got it? Yep, we got this down here. St. Denis. Did we get this over here? Nope. Brazil got it except for this little sliver. Thank you. Uh, we got Fort de France. We got Base Terre. That's good. Extras. Just want to make sure I get these little extra spots. We got this, but Canada got St. Pierre. Let's see, what else? We probably got Kiribati in some places out here in the middle of nowhere. Let's take a look. 
Yep, here's Papit. What else is there? There's another one. There it is. Yep, we got Kiribati and Numo. In Numo. As in Nomo. Alright, there we go. They have done a really good job holding on to this area. Now, come on, let's push in. Okay, come on, push in further. Hold that. There, you got that spot. Come on, get in there. I can't see anything yet. Go ahead and push forward. They're slowly going to move in. We need reinforcements. There we go. All right, come in right here. Hold on that military base we just took. That's what happened. I couldn't see it, but we knew we took it. And look at all that AA running away. Canada is giving me military, or wants military goods, and giving me money for it. Ugh, this isn't good. Lots of, lots of extra crap. I can't tell what's going on. Go ahead and take Saratov out. Okay. Our units have done a really good job here. Come on down here and take that one too. We want to push down here and take out Volgograd. Okay, they're pushing out and around. I don't think they've got enough to stop us. Or even really hold us back. What is this here? They're at 13 billion dollars. Okay, we want to take out... Remember, the, the goal here is Saratov. Take it out. We've got a nice little garrison spot with, I think, an airfield right next to us. Nope, it's just petrol facilities, but still, we've got the airfield there. Gives us enough time to build up some garrisons. Which just reminded me, I need to check this place down here. Okay, I, I remember they made it the... Romanians made that inactive at one point, and sometimes it doesn't switch over in your control to stay that it's not a. Uh, it'll still say that it's uh, inactive. Just want to make sure that's not what happened. Need reinforcements. These guys are pushing in around. They're having some fun. No need to worry. These guys are doing a good job. Still, we need to take this out though. It's taking a little too long for my taste. There's some more tanks coming. We'll get these artillery kind of handled. Okay. Finish off Saratov. Come on. There's that BMP about to go down. Here he is hitting us in the rear, but the 70 T-72s are going down here. All right. I don't know how they're going to move more men in, but we'll... Start moving towards our next destination. Let these guys kind of go where they're going to go. This is how you take on Russia. And you got to do the same thing against China because of how big they are. At least I'm going to prefer we go against China and America this exact same way. Okay, keep going. They'll come in right here. Yep, destroyed. Keep moving. Okay, come on down here. There's a barracks. We'll take it. Hold on to the spot. We'll get in there and uh, get the rest done. Come on, guys. Don't be a chicken. There you go. Volgograd is ours altogether. There we go. Come on out here. Push in. Destroy some small stuff. There we go. Let's go ahead and take some of this. There's that destroyed. Um, do I want to go this way? Uh, if I do, I'll get three more from Rostov. And that is one of my targets, so to say. We need reinforcements. Oh, what are you doing? Up, oh, not a lot. Okay. Come on in. Let's just 
Let's go for Rostov, it's fine. Even though I'd rather go this way. Okay, let's keep pushing across this river. Which, by the way, we are on that river, are we not? That's that river I told you about. If we get everything west of it, they're gonna fall. That's really where it gets done. I mean, we didn't go this way still. We're gonna go this way. So we can get some more facilities to help us out, but we're getting there. We have 42 units just pushing through. Okay, come on, move up. You can destroy him. All by yourself, I'd hope. Okay, nope, that was that was dangerous, I know. Okay, come on right there. Hold it. Oh, I see some missiles being shot out from down here. Hopefully they try to run th run through us here. What is that? Ah, oh, the labs. Lab 5As are getting done now. And they're hitting the front lines, actually. Which is huge. You want those type machines be coming online. Their artillery is trying to attack us back. That's how funny this is starting to become. Okay, bring these guys in right here. Oh, we don't want to settle on the bridge. At least not for very long if we do. Alright, here we go. Gonna add into our uh, awesome supply line here. There we go. Supply line's been caught up on. These guys are in place. Destroy these guys at Gwiko. Gwikovo, my bad. And there it goes. Come on down here. How's Russia doing now in money? They are down. Oh, they're at 15 billion. They could. They probably can take quite a bit of debt. These guys are starting to be pushed out of the line now. Come on off over here. Maybe we can uh, knock out some units that are going to stop us from getting out of the line or something. Rostov's uh, facility just got taken though. We can take out Rostov itself. Take out uh, Taganarag, that'd be good too. And take out Novichevsk. We need to take those spots. They're critical. They're critical because I say they're critical. He's pushing across. They've taken like little pieces of land that you don't think mean anything. He's pushing up here. These guys are pushing up here for no reason. I want this zone taken out though. We'll need to rebuild for an assault. Okay, there they go. Well, we, we've done quite a bit though. Let's take a look at the uh, what's going on. Let's, I want to see how many they have. We have 137 land fabrications. They have 32. We have got them beat by a full 100. We are the best in the world right now. The US has 34, 27, 10, 25. We have 137, 48, 41, 39. The only person that's beating us in any category is Russia in the air fabrication category. That's it. We've killed nearly 12,000 units and lost only 2,882 of our own. Military casualties, we do have the highest. We have also gained uh, just about 9 million uh, more cl square kilometers of land than anybody else. Uh, we've got a 31% approval rating. That's not good. That we'll have to deal with it. Our money is kind of low right now, but we're at DEFCON 1, I expect it to be. Uh, we are topping in the top 25 in GDP per capita. I mean, we're not work we're not squarely working on that. We have the third highest population, the fourth largest by land area. And we're bigger than China now. The United States is bigger by about a million. Canada's bigger by about uh, about a million as well. 
and Russia's bigger by about 10 million, but you know square kilometers. But that's about to end for them as we take more of their land. Uh, we are 92nd. Let's take a look here. We are not in the top 25 in total score, but we're close. I can tell. Diplomatic score, we are not in the top 25. We're not even close there. Economic score, not near the top 25 at all. Technology, we are number one. We're about 150 points higher than India, who's in second. Approval score, uh, not. We're probably in the top 50, but not top 25. Military score, we are fourth behind India, Syria, and Pakistan, who have all been at war longer than us. So just to kind of put it in perspective, that's where we are in this campaign right now. We need reinforcements. We're pretty far along. And these guys are going after this all on their own. Yeah, go ahead and finish them off. And the Lab 5As are going to be entering, are entering full service right now. I just don't see them coming back. We did go up a tech level. We'll go ahead and get the speech. We'll get the leap infantry. But uh, yeah, guys. All right, I'm going to have to end it here. I appreciate you all for watching. We have done a lot of damage. We have extended the line from pretty much here all the way to here. Now, we didn't go towards Moscow, I know. But we did take out most of the land fabrication west of that line. So I think my next thing is just going to kind of let them go where they want to go. Consolidate our line west of the river and south of it, I guess, if you count this. And then uh, we might come down here, take out the Caucasus, and then we'll go for Moscow. That, that's kind of the, that's the thought right now. So, um, anyways, guys, I appreciate you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.